good, yo? It's your boy Ty back here with another video. And in this video today, we are going to be breaking down the new courtside report that did get released today talking about season eight in nba 2k 21 my team now there's been a lot of hype behind behind this new season obviously last season we saw the full throttle type of season which was very very kind of intriguing got a new season coming to my team tomorrow we're gonna be breaking that down now before we do it if you are new to my channel and have not yet please consider smashing that subscribe button so we're on the road to 70,000 subscribers so we're just gonna read it through here there's a battle ongoing in the nba our favorite players are forging their legacy as the NBA playoffs move towards the NBA Finals. In Season 8 of my team, we are taking the Trial of Champions to the Virtual Hardwood. So we saw the Trial of Champions cards featuring six challengers. We've chosen current NBA stars to compete in our game of rings to tip off this season. Who are you going to choose to represent your my team lineup? Ben Simmons is poised to make a deep ride in the East, while AD, Dame, and Donovan are staking their claims in the West with Jason Tatum and Zion. While you're preparing for next year's campaign, you can choose which of these six stars wins our game of rings. Okay, okay, this is confusing. So featuring six challengers, we've chosen current NBA stars to compete in our games of rings to tip off this season. Who are you gonna choose to represent with your my team lineup? I'm just kind of in confused about what this means. Like, there's no way we get it. There's, I mean, maybe. Maybe we'll get more. Okay, we're, we're just going to read more before I try to form an opinion. Level in this season, every player will add these six beautiful cards to their collection featuring these challenges. This battle is all about these deep. This battle is all about decimating your opponents by filling up the stat sheet. Compete in triple threat with your favorite player through June 14th. Out of these six challenges, the top scoring players during this period will earn the entire community a guaranteed player locker code which will include galaxy opals or dark matter player okay let's 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 think about this again out of all these six challengers the top scoring players during this period will earn the entire community oh, okay so this is what it's like so so i guess whatever card you want to see uh galaxy opals or a dark matter player okay so then what i'm seeing is we're gonna get a free dark matter galaxy opal for one of these cards whoever is the most high scoring that we play with that's what i'm gathering out of this um, for daily updates of the game of rings. So whichever player you want, I would be I'd play with in triple threat. For me, I probably won't play with anything because I don't really care that much. But if you're passionate about it, that's that's kind of a cool little thing that 2K is doing. That's, that's kind of a cool little thing. As always, the level one reward is just a starting point as this child of champions, champions will again have you complete agendas to earn XP on your path to level 40. Top of the XP path this season is Invincible Dark Matter. Luka, the young all-star, has made quite the postseason impression against the Clippers, and now he can make quite the impression against your opponents in Unlimited after completing the Trial of Champions. Okay, so Luka is the, the level 40 reward, and we obviously know that the Trial of Champions is, is going to be for a free lock. Okay, that's fine. With Season 8 Signature Challenge, you will re recreate a pivotal moment in Kevin Durant's run towards his first NBA championship. Katie handpicked his clutch three against the Cavs in 2017 NBA Finals. For you to recreate my team, if you need a Durant card, use a lock code. So we're getting a KD locker code. That's fine. And you get a Hall of Fame badge and a diamond shoe. Okay, that's all fine. Now let's do a fun annual rundown of all the Dark Matter reward players you can earn this season. Dark Matter. So every reward player is going to be Dark Matter. Starting in Triple Threat, Sec Celtics big man Robert Parrish is waiting for you. New high threshold of 1750 wins. So 1,750 wins with Tom Van Arsdale. So I'm going to do something real quick and just look up with Tom Van Arsdale. Like, I'm just I'm just going to look up what, what, what my man was working with. How tall are you? Six foot five? Listen, man, Tom, what is, since you're only six foot five, what are you going to be doing for me, man? Tom's twin... Uh, demonetize me. Van Arsdale is available after tier three wins in triple threat online, making for an all star dynamic duo. I mean, neither one of those cards are really, you know, you got Tom Van Arsdale and, and the other Van Arsdale. Neither one of those cards are super, super intriguing. I would say Robert Parrish has a chance of being solid enough. Go 12 0 in unlimited Galaxy Open tier for Draws and Petrovic. Now, here's the thing about Draws isn't he 6'5 too? Like, Aren't all these cards just 6'5"? Drazen is 6'5 as well. So all these cards are 6'5", six, 6'6", six, six, and that's kind of the tough thing about it. Horace Grant can be found in Ascension in exchange for in exchange players for Willis Reed or find the Iceman George Gervin limited to 1,000 redemptions in the reward market. So here's what I see about each and every one of these Dark Matter players. This is terrible, 2K. Are you kidding me? 
We're trying to make a season, right? Season eight, not our last season, the second to last season. And we've got Tom Van Arsdale, Demonetized Van Arsdale. We got Robert Parrish. We got, who, who else do we got? We got Draws and Petrovic, Horace Grant and Willis Reed, George Gervin's the limit. What am I seeing, 2K? This is just terrible. We do have one more Invincible. Okay, Invincible reward player to announce. Invincible Moses Malone. Are you kidding me? For earning six rings and limited. Six rings. That's how long this season is going to be. Now, I'm not... Hold up. Plus, Luca isn't the only Dark Matter available in, from Agendas this season at level 33. You'll add Bob McAdoo uh, to your collection. So, McAdoo's a, a, a Dark Matter as well. Now, there is more to be re revealed when it comes to season Agendas and their rewards. This six-week season is primed to provide more rewards, premium cards, events, and other more than any previous season. All I'm going to say is this to you guys. Here's, here's what I'll say. Here's what I will say to you guys. If they don't do a lot of updating throughout this week, six-week season, this is going to be the most dead time 2K has ever seen. There's no real grinding to be done here outside of Moses Malone, who's going to be incredible. I'm telling you guys that right now. Moses is going to be solid. But that's really it. Luke is obviously solid as well. Starting with the Hawks, Young Superstar, Trey Young. Trey has made quite the impression against the Knicks. You can add into your collection by playing my team every day for the first week of the season. And we'll be following up with a new Dark Matter. It's a seven-day... So you get a free Dark Matter Trey from logging in for seven days. I mean, that's low-key a W. Although Trey Young's not going to be good. That's a low-key W right there. It, it definitely it definitely is. So we're tipping off the Game of Rings, dropping Dark Matter rewards in all modes and as login rewards. With the six-week season that goes deep into July, what is next? We need to keep a few day details close to the vest. We have more surprises for the rest of the season that we cannot wait to get to you, including the entire Idol Series 3 collection. Let's just say we've tried a few new th things that my team players enjoyed in full throttle that would return in Trial of Champions. For now, compete in the game of rings that earn that level 40 Luka Doncic. And trust me, you're going to want to get him as soon as possible this season. Stay tuned for more info on that and prepare to enter the Trial of Champions in my team season 8. Okay, so here's what I see from this. Here's what I see. The Trial of Champions, that's a cool, cool little concept, okay? You get one of these cards, you can compete with them, and then you get a free, I think it's Galaxy Opal or Dark Matter Press. That's cool, okay? that that's, that's a cool little concept. I have no problem with that. But the problem I have with this, okay, is yes, all of these players are Dark Matters. Congrats, you get a free Dark Matter, but none of these players are really good. Yes, they probably update the offline and online vaults halfway through, maybe a couple different times. But these got to be more. Like, there's got to be more. George Gervin might be okay, but not worth that. Like, none of these guys are really going to be worth it. Now, here's my thing. Moses Malone, I'm excited for him. But unless they really do a lot with XP or, like, another mode, I, I, I don't know. I, I really don't know. I get it. They say we got to keep a, a few details. They, they want to keep close to the best. But my thing is this. My thing is this. If the entire Idol Series 3 collection this season, okay, Here's my thing. We've got to see something more for the grinders of the world. I get it. He says, says trust me, you're going to want to get Luca as soon as possible. Now, what does that mean? Like, what, what does that mean, right? How, why, why does getting Luca early help you? Are there going to be more? Are there going to be a level 45 reward, level 50 reward? Is that the reason? Or what is the reason we want to get him very quickly? And I know some people don't like the fact that they're leaving you guys kind of on a cliffhanger, right? Where they, you, you don't know what's coming. For me... I don't even mind that. Like, I, I really don't mind this part of it. The, the biggest problem that I see with this season is that triple threat online, triple threat offline, there's no real rewards in this that are very, very exciting to me. I might grind for Luka Doncic. I mean, that's about the only thing I think is going to be worth grinding for. I'll get Drazen as well, but I'm probably going to try to grind Luka Doncic, see what we can do with that. That's probably the most exciting part about this season. I kind of wish it was four weeks long again, but it is six weeks long. So here's my thing. That leads us to the middle of July. So we're going to have one more season after that that might be full throttle, like a, a, a quick season again. But we'll see. I know the last season, the, the, the last season, season nine is going to be like obviously all invincible cards. This season, I, I, I know it wouldn't be all invincible cards, but I was expecting just a little bit more. In my opinion, just reading through this, which obviously the course I report doesn't tell the whole story, seems like kind of a little bit of a letdown to me. That's just my personal opinion. We'll see tomorrow with, with what these cards look like, how juiced they are, and, and what what we also get as far as content is concerned. Let me know your thoughts about this down below in the comments, guys. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new, and as always, man, I love you guys, and have a blessed day.